Hey folks, how's it going on? I uh, got a few things I put on the GS Adventure. Uh, some things you can buy from Amazon, like this nifty little cup holder here. It clamps on right here. I put some of that tape around it so it don't scratch it up. Holds on a really sturdy. It's good for Coke bottles and skinny water bottles, but um, what's the name of the coolers, whatever they are. Anyway, I bought a nice little cooler bottle that fits in there pretty good. It will stretch open. Um, and it fits in there and holds it really good and sturdy. Uh, <laughs> these you don't buy from Amazon. I learned that with my Harley. These are made by Wonderlick. There are some kind of high grade steel, I mean, and it kind of clicks in place, snaps in right here with a little pretty nifty Wunderlich, Wunderlich, however they say that. Some cruiser pegs, uh, they're not cheap. Oh boy, they're, they were more expensive than the ones I got for the Harley. Do I still have the box out here? I think I do. Yeah. These are things you just don't want to skip on. Complete your BMW Wonderlick. I got them from Edwards Motorsports. Uh, highway pegs. You see the price? Yeah. But when you fill these things, Oh my gosh, I mean, they don't move. They don't move at all. And it comes with tape and stuff put on there. Uh, comes with a little bit of a um, Loctite to put on there. It's a different Loctite than the blue stuff, but it's a little tube. And, oops, sorry, let me get this up here. See the other one too. I mean, they don't move. Okay, uh, I finally got in the quad lock charger. Okay, it's a QI charger. When you turn it on, the blue light comes on. All right, and that means it's ready to charge. And I like it because it replaces the little tab that sticks out here that you do, okay? So this one just come in. Yeah, get on there. You know how this is always a pain. Fun, fun, fun. Well, I'll get it on there in a minute. This is amazing. I can't get it to go on, which ain't nothing new. There it went, locked on. All right, so it locks on and charges up your phone. Uh, I'm at 85%. So that's really neat. And, and it's, I've got the uh, stabilizer, the anti-vibration dampener on it too. You can see it wiggles around a lot, uh, but that keeps it, it's very soft. That keeps you from messing up your gyros in there or those uh, lean angles or whatever things they are in there that they've been breaking on some of these high dollar phones. Anyway, you just push down on this right here. Just take that, push it down, and you can turn it and it pops off. I hope I hadn't turned anything with back of my phone. No. It's just finicky. Uh, you get it. There it goes. Now, shut up, Siri. I ain't talking to you. Siri and nosy. Turn it, lock it. And pulls right off. Uh, it takes uh, the place of the little springy tab right here that's, uh, you know what I'm talking about. And so that just pushes down. You push down the side. And it charges. I run the wire under here, put it through the normal little rubbery tabs that are on here, and plug it up in under here. Oh, yeah, I bought the little windscreen uh, down here and put it on the other day. I thought it would keep some noise coming up through this thing. It really doesn't. Whether it stops wind from coming up under here, I don't know. Kind of makes it a cleaner look. 
around your TFT and all that stuff. But either way, um, it tabs under with two little locking turn nuts that turn into there when you tighten them up. And then it comes up and goes over. And you take this screw out here and that screw up on the front and pull this thing out. And you can put them on, it hooks in, bolts through right here into this right here. Neat little wind guard, kind of does clean up the look a little bit when you're sitting back. I mean, you can still see down through here, but I like that. It looked good, and I got the plastic one. I didn't buy the wonder look on that one. They wanted like a hundred something dollars for a metal one. So I bought the Amazon specials on them. Just be careful where they're shipping from. Some of the stuff uh, ships from overseas and not locally. So, but those are the new things I put on. I, brought, I did buy the pro version of the quad lock. This piece here is metal. There's not two screws, like this one screw here. It goes down and locks it into place. That's the only screw. Uh, there's a little T-hook bar goes through there and it hooks on, just wraps around. And one screw tightens it on there, but he is on there. Okay, it's not like the, the plastic ones. Well, and those are good. They're phenolic kind of plastic or whatever. A composite, they work fine. But the Pro model is metal, and this stuff ain't cheap, okay? Uh, but it has the dampeners vibration little rubbery boots right here there's one here there's three of them and it screws down into that you take the screw out for your little tab locker and put a longer screw down in here screw it in and you got to make sure that you uh mount this and the uh, anti-vibration to where your your uh usb wire can plug up and it's the usb c plugs up into the back of this and it has a rubber grommet around it and then your wire comes out and goes in and plugs into your USB port here. And yeah, you can take those dens, I think they called them, take that out and buy you a, a USB plug and just stick that up in there. And he's waterproofed all up in there. It's all rubbery. So that's good. So every time I just put my phone on, I don't have to have that wire over here and plug it into my phone. You just pop it on here as a QI charger. You do have to have the, the uh, quad lock phone case. This is a 14 Pro. Uh, what's great about these, and I'll show you this, this right here is, is a magnet charger too. So this phone case will work with all of your other uh, Apple chargers that you bought. You know, the round chargers on stands, you just walk the phone up to it and slap it on and it, and there it goes. That's my granddaughter, ain't she cute? That's Miss Macy June. Um, but this will still work with all of your round chargers for all the newer Apple stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. So when you get this case, you don't have to buy special chargers. You don't have to plug a wire into it. You just pop this on the magnet stand and it works. And that's what it's doing right here. This is your QI portion right here. Um, so like I said, there are certain things you don't skimp on. Uh, phone holders yeah you can buy the clamp-ons and run your wire over there uh, make sure you leave yourself some loose enough wire so when you turn your wheels the handlebars you got plenty of play and it doesn't pinch anything so those are some of the new things i put on it uh these are comfort things safety things stuff like that i'm not buying everything this is just purely aesthetic I really don't know if it stops any extra wind or not, but it, I thought it looked pretty cool. And for the price, it was, I got it for like 16 bucks. That was a water holder, cup holder, uh, and it's got the GS logo. It's, it's a Chinese part, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know who they were copying, but it works. It's pretty neat. Uh, I skipped on those two things, but the charging system for the phone mount and the fact that it has a dampening uh, rubbery stuff in there so your phone, the vibration isn't harsh on your phone uh, and it won't uh, tear up the little sensors in your phone like some people. I've never had a problem with them. I've had an iPhone on a motorcycle since 2016. Never had any problems with anything breaking on the phone, but obviously when you take this thing off road some of the jolts and stuff you're hitting uh is too much vibration if it's on a hard solid mount that doesn't give and some of the phones have been breaking and i don't know who's doing the warranty if they're covering these warranties or not and i know the phone the, the camera's probably flipping around because i'm at an angle here so new parts the wonderlick uh cruiser pegs highway pegs little cheap water bottle holder which does spread open and you can put a um 
a cooler um, guys I'll put it I'm just totally brain fart right now the, the igloos the famous expensive igloos and water cups and everything that everybody buys that are like 10 times overpriced golly Pete I cannot believe my brain farting right now um, anyway those uh, uh, will fit in there the skinny ones will fit in there and it has a little push tab on it thumbs up and it has a little straw and the straw goes down the cup um, Yeti golly Pete Yeti how can I forget Yeti um, I bought the skinny one with that because you just pick your water bottle up flip up the little thumb thing and take a drink without having to turn the bottle up and when you have a helmet you understand why that's important uh, and just stick it back in there and it holds in there very very tight so I skimped on that. I skimped on that. Uh, I skimped on the little foot peg. Uh, kickstand, spreader, widener. That's a cheap one. I'm probably, I don't know if I'll keep that. I think it's probably pot aluminum. Uh, I mean, it's neat, but it is wider. But the Touratech ones are like $75. Uh, I don't know if I'll splurge for that, but theirs are steel where this is pot metal aluminum. Uh, but these wonder like foot cruiser pegs are freaking awesome they are dead solid sturdy oh yeah my legs healing from where this bad boy right here raked him up one night um, and of course the box I put on here I showed you that before uh, this lock box I'm really pleased 65 liters and I've got all kind of stuff in here and you can it will hold two full-size helmets. This is my jacket liner um, Gloves extra water bottle that water bottle is too fat uh, All my scarves and face shields and stuff. I've got uh, Toolkit in here. That's for the GPS holder I've got This is a tire puncture kit uh, in my little toolbox down here, I have a, uh, I still haven't got home to get my tag yet. I've got this little toolbox here. It's, it's a knockoff. Uh, I've got an air compressor in there, a little tiny air compressor that works really well. So I can still put a full face helmet in here, even sitting on top of the water bottle and that uh, liner from a jacket. Um, of course, the gloves I'll have in the box over here. Koozie. I, I keep my GoPro pushed in that koozie so it doesn't get scratched up in here. Um, that. I put the helmet in here. And I take my big old gigantic jacket with pads in it, fold it up, and stick it in here too. And I can still get all of that in here uh, with that full face helmet there too. So these are just some things I put on here. This one. I got off of I got off Amazon, Amazon or eBay. Uh, it does have bars up here, handle carry bars. It has straps on both sides. Um, it has a back and neck. Well, nobody's neck's gonna be that low, but anyway, it's got the pads on it uh, for your other rider. That's my Wunderlich. Or something like that. Wonder look. That's what we call it. That's uh, what I've done. Uh, you can take a look at these things. I've still got the original foot pegs on it. I thought about getting a cover. I got oh, I got a mud slinger guard coming. Uh, I thought about getting a cover because that is plastic, but there is a cover you can get and put right here and the little hole protectors. I don't know about that, but who knows. Um, I thought about getting the cover that goes here. I do have some guards coming. They're solid aluminum and they hook on here, here, and here. And the aluminum totally covers this area and folds over. So it's a big old bash aluminum plate that's going to go right here and it'll cover that. Um, I think that's better than some of the other stuff I've seen. But anyway, that's kind of what I've done the last couple of days uh hope you guys enjoy this uh, maybe you'll see something you like uh this piece right here the charging port come from australia i could not find one anywhere in america 
on any of the online ordering places without actually going to Quad Lock and seeing if maybe they had them on their website. But this come from Australia. It took about two weeks to get here. All the other stuff I got off of Amazon. But here's the wire. Comes in under there. Comes up around here. And right here. It's hard to see because I don't have all the lighting in here. But there's the uh, wire plugs in here. So it's always on. Now there is a button, a power on and off button in here. You can press and turn that off. But, hey, it goes off. You'll wait a few minutes, you'll see. That'll go off in a minute. Lock handle bars. Uh, that's what I got. Like I said, you saw the price on these, $269. But, I mean, that's... This is high-grade steel. It's not aluminum. And that block, I think, is steel, too. It locks it on there. But, I mean, I'm shaking them all my weight. And I've been used them, clean them off a little. I need to clean this thing. Oh, I did buy the uh, uh, Tortec little crash guards. They plug into that. And it just keeps more... Um, protection if you do land on that like I did the last time so it doesn't push this all the way up into your case your head gasket head covers okay folks I think that'll do it thank you guys so much for watching God bless you God bless America Cornelio out don't forget to ride that thing <laughs>